from the beginning of time itself, there has been oxygen. What started as a purely European-based organization added a North American team by the name of Clint Eastwood in January of 2017. This team had already shown that they possessed the ability to challenge the elites of the Paragon competitive scene, and under their new banner they went on a rampage, fragging teams left and right on their way to complete and utter domination. With their duo mid-strategy, they challenged the way teams thought about the game and forced them to evolve and develop new strategies to beat this powerhouse. Then, from seemingly nowhere, there was tension among the ranks. Oxygen had some roster issues, trying players on different positions and even bringing in different players to fill spots. Oxygen was still good, but a shell of its former dominant self. It did return to its original roster, the one that had dominated the Paragon scene for a few months, but then disaster struck in the form of the Exhibition Events rules. Players must have citizenship in the region they competed in. This left star support Marty Rivia, who is from the UK, without a home and Oxygen without the leader that they had worked with for several months. They did manage to pick up Phasma, former support for Arctic Wolves, but can he help the Oxygen squad return to their former glory? For now, all seems well for Team Oxygen. Throughout the NA qualifiers, they have shown no mercy to their opponents, running at them with reckless abandon and ending matches before their enemies could even figure out what was happening. They have turned in some of the fastest finishing times ever seen in the Paragon competitive community. If their opponents didn't already know that they were outclassed, they certainly do now. Some have said that this team has some of the most mechanically skilled players in the game, but can they temper this with teamwork to brave the fierce fires of battle? One thing is for sure, where there is flame, there is oxygen.